And so with this fourth surge, it's putting a big strain on our hospitals, especially for those in need of em other emergency services. It's because emergency departments are dealing with an increase in COVID patients, and it's bogging down the process of getting people without COVID treated. As Mike McDaniel explains, it's a daily balancing act to make sure that proper care is given. At Lakeview Regional Medical Center in Covington, more than a third of acute care patients are COVID related and the emergency department is stretching thin. This is very real, and we need to focus on what we can do to improve the situation. Chief Medical oh, Officer Dr. Jacques Guillaume says because COVID patients are filling up the emergency department, it's getting harder to accept people in need of other emergent care, especially when being transferred from smaller hospitals that don't have specialized doctors or equipment. We've had people with, with heart attacks that needed treatment, people with strokes at other places that needed treatment, and we just don't have the room to take them in. In St. Tammany Parish, patient transports through Acadian Ambulance are up 20%, often with nowhere to go. There are many cases where we can't get them into the hospital. There are no beds in the hospital. Please realize that. That's the challenge we're dealing with now. You know, Dr. Jeffrey Elder, Medical Director for Emergency Management at LCMC in New Orleans, says that creates an internal balancing act within hospitals across the state. It's been harder for us to transfer patients amongst hospitals um, because we just don't always have the beds available, even at the larger hospitals, to take some of these patients. Dr. Elder says the difference with this COVID surge compared to the last three is folks not staying in as much. Now people are still out and about, going about their lives, uh, and so we're seeing our usual volume of, of patients in the ED. Combined with a COVID surge across the Gulf South, Dr. Elder says patients may have to be sent to hospitals further away than normal to get the care they need. However, he says all of it is preventable. You know, now's the time, right? Masking, getting vaccinated, that's what's going to get us past this. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. In addition to not having enough space for patients in hospitals, during this surge, hospitals are also facing a staff shortage, as well as staff needing to be quarantined after being exposed to the virus. Children's Hospital had a federal disaster medical assistance team come into the hospital for two weeks to help fill in where help is needed.